Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's talk about the superposition principle. If we have a homogeneous second order differential equation, and this of course is the general format of that equation, and if that equation has two solutions, let's call them y1 and y2, then y being equal to a constant times the first solution plus another constant times the second solution is also a solution to the original differential equation. We can prove that. Let's say that we assume that this is going to be the solution. Then, if we take the derivative of both sides, we then get y prime is equal to c1 y1 prime plus c2 times y2 prime. And then if we take the derivative of that again on both sides, we get y double prime is equal to c1 times y1 double prime plus c2 times y2 double prime. And then if we plug y, y prime, and y double prime back in the original equation, let's see what we get. We then get c1, y1 double prime plus c2, y2 double prime plus p times y prime, which is equal to this. That would be c1, y1 prime plus c2, y2 prime plus q times y, which is equal to this, c1y plus c2y. I guess I was looking at this here. And that is equal then to zero. So what we're going to do now is we're going to separate the y1s and the y2s. So we can write this as c1 times y1 double prime plus p y1 prime plus q y plus c2 times, now we have y2 double prime plus y2 prime plus y2, and this should be y1 here, I forgot the subscript 1, and that should then equal 0. Now, take a look at what's inside the parentheses here and what's inside the parentheses there. Isn't it exactly the same as what I have over here? I have y double prime plus p y prime plus q times y. And of course, it'll be a, a different y, but I know that y1 is a solution to that equation, so I can make that substitution. And here I have the same thing, y2 double prime, y2 prime and y2, which is exactly the same as this. Oh, and I'm forgetting something here. I can't forget the p and the q, so plus p times that, plus q times that. All right, that's better. But notice that this is exactly the same as that. And again, I know that y2 is a solution to the equation. And since this is equal to 0, that means that this must equal 0 and that must equal 0. So therefore, I have c1 times 0 plus c2 times 0 is equal to 0. And that, of course, is a true statement. And if it's a true statement, that means that y equals c1 y1 plus c2 y2 is indeed a solution to the original differential equation. And that's what we mean by the superposition principle.